Hey, Bearcats fans. Uh, welcome back for another edition of Hard Hat Wednesday. I'm John Daniel, Deputy Athletics Director and Football Administrator here for the University of Cincinnati. We're uh, standing here live from the uh, active construction site for our new athletics indoor practice facility and performance center. I'm joined again by Tank Christian from our University of Cincinnati Planning, Design and Construction office. Um, and he's gonna walk us through kind of the progress that you've seen so far. Ted, why don't you tell us what we're looking at so far today? Okay, hi everybody, welcome back. This is the north entry piece to the facility. So down here at ground level, where uh, behind these blue insulation boards, you'll start to see this come up out of the ground and it's gonna be a sort of a terrace landscape feature that leads up to this deck over here, which is an outdoor dining terrace. And uh, beyond that, the first level inside that you see with the deck on top is the dining facility itself. What's being framed up above, you see those columns, that's gonna be the north half of the building that consists of the team rooms. So we're in our second location here, uh, down on the ground level inside the Performance Center building. And Ted, I believe we are more or less right in the middle of the training. That's right, well, we're a little bit to the north of the training room, JD. But for those of you who remember last time, we talked about the hydrotherapy area and pointed down at it, but this is what you're looking at behind here. So you can, it's hard to see this deck is over one of the pools and there are, you can see outlined by the yellow railings, three other pools back there for hydrotherapy, taking care of those athletes after they're off the uh, practice field. Awesome, so this is kind of that glass wall we've seen in that rendering, right? That's right, yeah. that's right. So as you look at the rendering, you'll be able to see what's behind us in that corner. Cool, yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, opening there because you'll come out of the locker room and the players will either come off the field or come out of the locker room and then they'll go through what we call the car wash. Um, right. and, and we'll get to put our raincoats on, right, and test it out and get washed down uh, so that all the you know rubber pellets and sweat and dirt gets off before we get into this hydro area. Absolutely, and we'll take a closer look at that car wash as it starts to come up and, uh, and we can show you what's in that. Awesome. We've made it down to the uh, field level here. We're probably on about the 45 yard line near our sideline. Um, looking out into the open field, and we've got the Performance Center building behind us, Ted. When I mentioned last time this is two buildings, it's really one building in two halves. And so on the right here, you've got the Athlete Performance Center, and the dividing line here is what these new trusses that we talked about last time are bearing on. And it's pretty cool because it lets us save money on a lot of steel because both buildings act as one in resisting the lateral load of wind and rain and all of that. As you can see, we've added two more trusses since last time, I think. And we framed in the south end from the south wall up to the first truss. So that took a lot of effort. There's a lot of little intricate geometry in that steel. And now you can see the cribbing tower with it's holding this, uh, the third truss up here. We're gonna start marching along and get more and more trusses in as we go. Somewhere up there, we've got a signature from Coach Satterfield on one of those when we visited the steel plant. That's right. In uh, Northern Kentucky. So that's an interesting part. And then um, we're standing right below what'll be the uh, head coach's office and the balcony. So that's kind of a cool um, orientation to where we are now. You'll have the main atrium in this web of scaffolding here coming right out to midfield with that seat paw right there at the 50. So we've made it here onto the uh, second floor of the Athletics Performance Center and we are standing right in the middle of kind of the key architectural feature of the facility which is the grand entrance way in the atrium. So you'll come across down Champions Way, you'll enter right here at about the 50 yard line of the field into this great atrium space and right now we've got a 200 foot tall uh, tower crane blocking our view, but we were just down on the field level right where you could see us uh, if you were standing here, Ted. Yeah, that's true. And so JD, um, you can imagine there are two staircases in this space, one leading up to that corner that goes up to the head coach's office suite area, and that's off to your south. And then over here, right next to me, this staircase here would take you down. There's sort of two flights. There's an intermediate level. And then at the lowest level, right at the bottom, we have the player's uh, recovery area with a juice bar, uh, goodies for them to snack on. And then down there is all the player's realm with the locker room over here and the weight room and the recovery areas over on that side. Sure. So we've got our uh, brand new dining facility for all 450 of our student athletes that would come in this entranceway right here and then head um, straight, straight north into this hallway uh, that we can see rendered into the dining facility. For those on the football team, like Ted mentioned, you go downstairs to the locker room, training room, uh, and weight room, or upstairs to the friendly face of Miss Sherry right there at the top. 
uh, and Coach Shat and uh, the rest of your Bearcats coaching staff. So just want to give a big shout out to Messer Construction Company here, big local construction firm that's building this project in conjunction with the design by MSA Sport and Gensler. The steel fabricators out there putting all that heavy steel up there is Columbus Steel, and that was fabricated by Fields Fabricating out in Kentucky. This atrium is uh, 49 degrees, is a national uh, inter environmental graphics design firm with an office here in Ohio, so they've been a great partner for us. And you can see on our rendering, it's a beautiful backlit CPAW um, as kind of the statement piece that you come in. You'll see the field right at the CPAW at midfield, and you'll also see uh, the lit version here. Um, on this what's going to be a black tower with the white seatpaw.